Previously on Hell's Kitchen. We lost too fucking much. Stop talking about what we did. Just do what we're doing. In fighting on the red team. Drop your pasta. I don't need 10 minutes to heat up pasta. If they all left me to fuck alone, I'd be fine. Gave the blue team their third consecutive challenge victory. Congratulations. Well done. It felt great. We cannot lose. And once again, the red team was demoralized. We lost again. Can't take it. I really, really can't. At dinner service. Red team, it's fucking comeback night. Let's go. The red team was determined to bounce back. Come on, guys. I'm tired of losing. But hope faded quickly when Siobhan was lost on appetizers. Who's cooking the spaghetti? They are. Fuck off. No one told me I was cooking pasta on my side. Fran was clueless on fish. They're overcooked, Fran. It's a disaster. And Scott was a mess on meat. It's not even cooked. It's not even pink. Are you colorblind? No, chef. And Chef Ramsay took drastic action. Fuck off, all of you. Get out. I'm sick of this shit. On the blue side. Why put more rice in there? Salvatore broke a golden rule. No, no, no. Working with a cook that tells lies is worse than working with a chef that can't cook. But under the leadership of Benjamin. How are we looking on the chicken? 45 seconds. The blue team had a successful service. Stay down, guys, yes? Yeah. The red team had to nominate two of their own for elimination. I don't know what the fuck is going on with the red team. I had it. And they chose... Scott Chef. And... I believe I'm the second nominee, but I think Siobhan should be the second nominee. Step forward with Siobhan. Chef Ramsay said goodbye to someone who never lived up to his resume. Scott, give me a jacket. Good night. Chef Ramsay clearly had enough of Scott. But he had a new assignment for Benjamin. I am not finished. Get in the red team. Continuation of Hell's Kitchen. You're in the red team. Yes, chef. Okay? Get out! I hope you fucking guys pick it up. I'm not too psyched about being a part of the red team. They're so fragmented. It's a fucking joke, almost. That's fucked up, man. I don't want to let you go. Ben is a talented guy. We love him. We hate that he's leaving, but we're going to still handle our business. Sorry, Ben. Jesus. <laughs> well, goddamn. Benjamin's not happy because we he probably think we're a bunch of assholes anyway on the red team. Maybe I'll die before the next time. Don't be so fucking negative. <laughs> now we're a team, so don't be an asshole about it. No, I'm gonna go hang myself. Let me get the noose. A new day in Hell's Kitchen means a new challenge for the chefs. And Chef Ramsay is already in the dining room waiting to deliver some big news. For our next dinner service, Hell's Kitchen is going to be holding a very special event, a 50th wedding anniversary. That deserves a celebration, yes? Yes, yes chef. Good, because I'd like you all to meet the golden couple, Sal and Marcia Locasio. Wow, 50 years. Welcome. Congratulations. So how are you? Fine. <laughs> I'm going to be almost 20 years married. And to have 50 years of your life with one person, that is an accomplishment of a lifetime. The big question that we're dying to find out, was it love at first sight? No. <laughs> Not exactly. <laughs> first date. Met at the uh, dance. Country western. Country western dance hall. <laughs> I wanted to dance with him. So I went up and I asked him to dance. You asked him to dance? Yeah. Yes. A woman mm -hmm. who knows what she wants. Yeah. Absolutely. I just want to, like, pinch them. I don't know, babies and old people. They're the cutest thing. I asked you kindly uh, both to bring the menu from the wedding reception. Yes, Lovely. I have it here. Wonderful. Now, listen up, because for today's challenge, we are going to be updating this menu. Chicken Kiev 
Steak Diane and Trout Ormondine. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. 30 minutes from now. Go, 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 go. Let's plan. Plan, plan, plan. For this challenge, the chefs must update three classic dishes that the anniversary couple served at their wedding reception 50 years ago. I'll do the trout. This is a one-person thing. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who's working on the chicken? We are. Are you guys going to work on the steak? What is a steak, Diane? Honestly, I had no idea what a steak, Diane, is. Good plan bay on that. By having the chefs put a modern spin on these traditional entrees... But I can't blow this out. Chef Ramsay is testing their ability to be creative and innovative. Me and him will work on the steak. Then we're going to work on the chicken together. The trout, I'll do the whole dish. I'm going to pan sear the trout, almond strew, so I'm going to make a lemon butter. The other Ben's on the red team. It's an opportunity for me to take control. I feel like it's his team versus my team. Jay. Yes? We're the chicken. We do some nice little meatballs of chicken. It's fine, but make it good, dude. You got to make it awesome, yeah. you know? He's going to make some meatballs. Salvatore, when he came up with it on his own to make the meatballs, I just got worried the chicken Kiev was not going to be what Chef Ramsay was looking for. Just make it the best meatball you ever made in your life. Good job, guys. How are you guys feeling the chicken? We probably have five minutes. How are we looking on steak, guys? Steak is right here resting. Resting? Awesome. We got the brandy sauce going. Benjamin was definitely our leader. And it wasn't like chaos like it normally is in our kitchen. There was like this calmness. Taste this. I'm going to put a little bit more roasted garlic in it. That tastes delicious. Great. We were all working as fast as we could, but like tranquil. We're just waiting on the chicken cooking. I think we're good on the chicken. I'm feeling a lot better about the red team. I think it can be strong. We need a time. Two minutes to go. Get them in the fryer. Give me two. Come on. Oh, fuck. We can't serve raw chicken. Let's get them cooked. Salvatore dropped the ball a little bit once again. He has the Midas touch in the bad way. Everything he sort of touches goes to shit. OK, last minute. Start plating up. Everybody, I'm giving y'all y'all plates. Come on, let's go. We can't serve raw chicken. No, I'm going to go to serve with a raw chicken. Come on, come on, come on. Are you sure it's done? No, Five, Salvatore, that. Four, three, oh, two, oh, my two God. wipe it, wipe the one, bottle. and stop. With no time remaining, the dishes will now be tasted by the golden anniversary couple. Did you use your time wisely? Yes, yes chef. Are we excited? Our guests? Yes, chef. Let's try the Steak Diane, please. First up are Nilka and Ed with their reinterpretations of Steak Diane. OK, Nilka. We have crab and mushroom reduction in the red wine, chervil, and parsley. So you haven't been in tune with the classic. There's no cream, there's no cognac, there's no mustard. Chef looked at my dish, he was like, um, what is that? I was like, hmm, <laughs> Um, honestly, I'm not too familiar with a steak, Diane. Sorry. How was that for you, my darling? It's good. So how was that? It's fine, but a little bit of taste of alcohol. OK, Ed, what is that, please? This is the uh, pan-seared filet. We did a quenelle of mushrooms. We made a crab cake with lobster crab. So you've got elements of a steak, yes. Diane, there. How was that, my darling? That's very good. Lovely. And the mushrooms on top? I don't care for the mushrooms. Yeah, that's very good. Mm -hmm. Marcy, the blue team or the red team? Blue team. Blue team. Sam. Same thing. I like this one better. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very good. much. Thank there you. we are. One nil to the blue. Oh, God, here we go. Next up, the chicken Kiev. Is it cooked? Yeah, I'll take it. Here we go, Holly and Autumn. Present the dishes, please. Um, Autumn. Wow. There's two balls in there. What is that? They're, they're chicken meatballs. When I saw the chicken balls, I almost laughed. Like, what the fuck is that? It's, a, it's an inside-out chicken Kiev. Mm -hmm. And the idea of the balls, where did that come from? My chef. Uh, slightly pink. More time. Autumn, Salvatore, I've got one ball here, slightly pink. What were you thinking? My meatball was uncooked. Disastro. That's what a fuck it was, a disastro. Holly, explain your dish, please. It's a panko crusted chicken. In the center, I have roasted garlic, lemon, and parsley butter. How's that for you, us? It's like I make at home. Oh, wow. Nice. The red team or the blue team, which chicken salad would you choose? I'd pick the, the red one. The red team. Marcy. Red. Red. Well done. With the score tied, Jay or Ben's trout almondine will determine which team wins the challenge. 
I think hands down, my biggest competition definitely is Ben. And it's him and I, you know, head to head, so may the best chef win. Right, Benjamin, please explain exactly what it is. I have a make puree of almonds, chanterelles, and a little bit of vanilla. How's that, my darling? It's mild. Mild. Mm-hmm. So, how's that, sir? That's good, very good. Right, Jay, please explain. It's a pan-seared golden trout with some lemon and some fennel leaves. Mm -hmm. And then on top, I made an almond streusel. Right, if you have to choose, the blue team or the red team? Blue team. Blue team, thank you. Sal. I like the other one. You like the other one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, it's a tie. I will break the tie. Sauce is delicious. They're both very good dishes. The difference is minimal. Um, the edge is in the red team. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. Congratulations, red team. Well done. Oh, my God. We finally fucking won. And all it took was Benjamin to lead us. Jay, nothing to be ashamed about. Very good dish. They were both great. In my own head, it's sort of a tie. OK, red team. It's about time you want a challenge, right? Yes, yes chef. chef. You will be stepping back to the 1950s. Lovely. You're going to have fun. I love the 50s. 50s, my thing. My dad was a big 50s guy. I love 50 music. I love dance 50s. So I'm really excited. Enjoy it. You deserve it. Well done. Thank you, Thank you, chef. Thank you. chef. Right, blue team. In honor of Salah Marcia's 50th wedding anniversary, we're going to be completely transforming this dining room, I want balloons blown up, dance floor built, centerpieces on every table. Let's do a wonderful three-tiered anniversary cake. Yeah? It would be a disaster if I was to decorate. I think this one sucks. I'd rather be in the woods picking out trash. Busy, busy, busy day. Red team, well done. Go upstairs, get changed, see you outside in five minutes. Yes, Chef. <laughs> I'm excited, because Ben is fucking dope. Good job. Good job. It's like the NBA. You know, we got LeBron James on our team. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Blue team, upstairs. Yes, Chef. Chicken meatball. I don't mind losing if we deserve to lose. And unfortunately, with Salvatore's dish, we deserve to lose this. When you say, I'm going to make a chicken meatball, we assume that you can make a chicken meatball. Oh, we lost? Don't just think uh, I did it. Because we're a team, I'd say. It was a bowl of water with undercooked meatballs. What are you wearing, Fran? Ben going out with the red team for the first time. He's going to be with four women. Oh, he's definitely going to be shaking up a bit. That's a good bra. It's a real good one. Hello, hello. Let's not waste any time here. Let's start uh, doing the dance floor. What, do those ends got slip-ins? Huh? Putting together the dance floor is nothing I've ever done. Find the Allen wrenches. But Ed seemed to have done that a couple times. Look, he's got to go on the outside. That'll go over there. Beautiful. How do you know this? Because I put the same one together at the country club I used to work at. Don't put them on yet until the end. Yeah, I wish you were this intense in the kitchen. I would have put my car. Blue team, y'all better recognize the tables have turned. Can we walk across the dance floor? And y'all are going to see how it feels to lose. No, don't walk across the dance floor. Get your ass out of the dance floor. I want to make sure it's steady. <laughs> Nilka, you dropped that. Have fun with the wedding cake. They win once, and all of a sudden, they're fucking Michelin star chefs. Oh, 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 oh my oh, favorite. Oh, oh, oh. That's so awesome. That 55 and a 58 convertible, I totally felt like I was back in the 50s. Yeah! <laughs> I love it. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, this is so fun. When I saw the girls in their little short skirts, I thought of my wife. And oh my god, I'm going to get in trouble today. Yeah! I'm on it. Does everything work? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fran, you're married. Let's go. Come on. Let's go get some to eat. <laughs> You can smell the Sundays and the shakes and the burgers. It was just like stepping right back into the 1950s. It was great. <laughs> it felt so good to be out. We've just been locked up for oh so my long. Tell me about it. I'm excited. Great. Let's go. You're going to show me how to do this? I don't know what I'm doing. There's 
nice to be the only guy on the team because I got a lot of attention. You guys keep bending over. <laughs> you think I was looking at their roller skates? A little more, a little more. You know, Jay, it's easiest. Two people do them and pull it down, and it lays perfect. I take pride in everything I do. Bam, you open it up, and it's perfect. Set all the wreaths, and then do all the flowers, then cut all the strings, then do the balloons. Some of these things are very exacting, very detailed. I'm going to tie my end around all these balloons. These are all going to go in, and they'll be, they'll be all perfect. And I'm doing a good job at it. They're all measured, and you just put the balloons on them. She fucking talks like nobody I've ever met in my life. We don't have to worry about them not being perfect. Almost ready to take my own life right now. <laughs> Let's just make balloons. Shut up. If all these are exactly the same, when you go to hang them, they all have to be perfect. When they're Jay, you want to help with the cake? Come on up. I'm more of an astronaut than I am a pastry chef. I couldn't be any further away from a pastry chef. But I'll do whatever it takes to get away from Autumn and her mouth. We are doing a replica of the cake that they had when they originally first got married. Right here, right? Nope, not happening. Here you go, Jay. Jay, can you cut this in half? I will cut it for you. <laughs> yeah, that's the last thing I need is their wedding cake to look like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. You know, I didn't even think twice about this, but now, because you're freaking out, it's making me freak out. It's just me. Thank you, Chef Ramsey. Thank you. Thank you. Doesn't it feel good to win? The house yes, yes, yes. 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 You were a little nervous last night. Are we a little better than you thought? You're much better than I thought. Thank you. Much better. Thank, Thank you. you. After today, I feel closer with the whole team. Yes, you're in your red kitchen. If they get to know you, maybe as a leader, they can listen to what I have to say. I don't have no room for dessert. I just have room for more drinks. All right, guys. Oh, come on. It is time for I a hula 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 hula. Hula. contest. I'm a grown woman. I couldn't hula hoop when I was a kid, and I damn sure can't hula hoop now. We're gonna see who can hula hoop the longest. All right, here we go. <laughs> because I have a really big butt, I thought that like the hula hoop would just kind of like, you know, hit it and bounce back up and keep going and keep going. Oh, oh, no. I was wrong. What the fuck, Siobhan? How do you do that? This is perfect. Holy cow! <laughs> I was a ballerina for most of my life. I got this in the bag. Oh, my god. <laughs> I think we have a winner right here. Oh, my god. I'm really excited. I won this trophy. I put it next to my other trophies from when I did dance competitions. Beautiful, Jay. Dude, this cake is going to be sick. I think we have a ton of work to do. I mean, the cake alone is going to take hours of work. Let me show you the boxes now. Yeah, so I have one sample, which took me like 10 minutes. How many boxes are I doing? <laughs> 100. I don't have a feminine side, but when I make it look nice, it's going to look like a girl did it. This on your first one? Yeah. Do you see these big ass hands? I don't know what I look like. A bow tie machine? God, this is the work of the devil. They all put dance floor. Maybe I should get my hula hoop out here. Ah. Quack, 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 quack. Oh, they have a lot of work to do. Why are you guys cheering? You've lost so many competitions. It's going to start getting nasty from here on out. Oh, my god, I want to win tomorrow so badly. So do I. Yep, exactly. And hopefully, they'll all have hangovers tomorrow. That'll be awesome. After a day of fun and misery. Good morning, Chef. Good morning. The red team and the blue team must prepare for tonight's special event, a 50th wedding anniversary. Aprons, guys. The special menu consists of classic dishes from the couple's wedding reception, along with Ben's challenge-winning trout almondine. You guys want to come together for a second? Yeah. I think we should clean it up so we all know what we're doing. It is such a comfort to have Ben in the kitchen. We are going to do things like he told us, because nothing has worked before. If you put the breadcrumbs on now, it's going to brown before you cook cooked inside. Okay. While Ben takes charge in the red kitchen, over on the other side, Jay is assuming the role of leader on the blue team. If you don't stir it, that will just overcome Keep the breaking. whole sauce, yeah. Hey, you guys have extra thermometer I can use? Yeah, take whatever you need. Thank you. You're going to need all the help you can get, buddy. Ben and I have this sort of, like, you know, joking rivalry. I love him, but I need to win service tonight. 
Oh. So pissed. Why? I just cut myself pretty bad. Oh, God. Oh, ugh. Yeah, it was, it was icky. I just hope that it's not really severe, that it'll clot and stop bleeding before service starts. Oh, fuck. All right, I did it. Fuck. I have cut myself in like 10 fucking years, man. Yeah. It's deep. I can. I, when I first pulled it, I could see all the way in the finger. We'll just keep pressure on it. Yeah. Feeling my head. We're worried about it. Absolutely. It's a very important service. Don't want to lose anybody. Jay, you okay? Ugh. You all right? But uh, Jay's a warrior. He'll, he'll forget about it. Throw a finger cut on. Throw a glove on. Whatever it may be. You right, Jay? Yeah, I'm fine. The doors to Hell's Kitchen will open in less than an hour, and Chef Ramsay takes a minute to emphasize the importance of tonight's service. Tonight is a night we cannot screw up, OK? Sal and Marcy's 50th wedding anniversary, yeah? They are depending on us, and we, as a team, are not going to let them down. Is that clear? Yes, yes chef. chef. Every steak Diane tonight will be served tableside, just like it was done back in the 50s, OK? Yes, yes chef. chef. Blue team. Ed, you're going in. Yes, Chef. Yeah? Red team. Nelka, you're doing it. Gladly. Yeah? We're opening in half an hour, guys. Get on your sections, yeah? Yes, yes chef. chef. OK, how are you? I'm good. Back in the restaurant. I plan to redeem myself with you tonight. Good, 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 good. <laughs> how are you, Jean? Yeah, good. Thank you. Well done with the restaurant. For tonight's special event, the dining room and the menu aren't the only things with a new look. Delicious. I love this jacket on you. It's amazing. It's tough. It's yeah. a special location, isn't oh, it? Very nice, yeah. And cognac. Sweet. Nice, just like that. So what I did was no steak oh, Diane geez. yesterday, and I know what the hell a steak Diane was, but I love a challenge. That's delicious. With everything set for a night to remember, Chef Ramsay is ready for the celebration to begin. Right, Jean-Philippe, let's go. Open Hell's Kitchen, please. As the restaurant fills with family and friends, everyone is eager to welcome the special couple. Our hosts are just about to arrive. Let's go. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome the guest of honor, Mr. and Mrs. Locazio. All right, guys, let's go. For tonight's service, the teams will serve their entire side of the dining room one course at a time starting with the guests of honor. You won the challenge, so you'll be serving our host first, yes? Two Caesars, two mushrooms, one shrimp, one crab cake. Let's go. Yes, Chef. Can I get the salad for the crab? Salad for the crab, got it. It's a complete honor to cook Sal and Marcy's dinner tonight. I'm really keeping my fingers crossed. You can't fuck it up. It has to be perfect. Where's the three Caesar? Come on. Where are the bowls for my Caesar? Where do they go? The bowls right here. Siobhan, yes, it's chef. our first table. Yes, Chef. It's our host. What we do is put it in a bowl. All right, coming to the pass. Unbelievable. Let's go. All right, what's the next one? Oh, thank you. With the host table served, service, please. The teams are now free to start sending appetizers out. Very good. Yeah, it's good. Hot, 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 hot. It was busy during appetizers because there were a lot of crab cakes ordered. Two crab? Two crab coming. Coming? Excellent. And I just made sure to stay ahead on those. The nice those crab cakes. Yes, chef. Thank you. Meanwhile, out in the dining room. Oh, look at the cake. Things are looking a little shaky. When you walk by, the table shakes. The cake is kind of wobbling to one side. Jay. Very quickly, go and check the cake out, yeah? Ed, hurry up, quickly. Let's go. It's like the Leaning Tower pizza out there. Do something with it, let's go. It scared the shit out of me that it might fall. The cake was starting to, to tilt over. And we just pushed it right through. Beautiful, guys. Yeah. Should be good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. It's 45 minutes into dinner service, and after a strong start, Ben is looking to lead the red team to a great finish on appetizers. Let's go. Coming down. Four crab, chef. Let's go. Come on, guys. Let's do it. You're doing a good job. Fucking hell. Benjamin. Yes, chef. They're fucking stone cold in the middle. What's that? It's, yeah, they're fucking cold in the middle. 
You know, I like Ben. I think he's a little pompous. He definitely thinks that he's the better cook than anybody here. I'm not going to deep fat fry them, fucking Benjamin. But what I am going to do is give him a no colour. Yes, chef. But the sogginess around the outside is because it's stone cold in the middle and you need some more oil in the pan. I screwed up crab cakes. Chef Ramsay's screaming and yelling at me. It sucks. Come on, Benjamin. I mean, it's embarrassing. Coming now, chef. So it's the 51st anniversary. Benjamin. Yes, now I've gone to fucking burnt fucking shit. Gonna be blown. What's all that? What do you do? You know, that's almost one of the easiest things you can do. When it's brown, it's cooked. When it's black, it's fucked. OK, put another one in, guys. All right, what do you need? I don't need anything. I got it. Yes, chef. Excuse me? 30 seconds, chef. Jean-Philippe, apologies, table six, please. We burnt the crab cakes. Come on, Benjamin. Coming right now, chef. You heard the apology. They burned the crab cakes for you, so uh, oh. so they're going to have to do it over again. It's fine. It's all fine. As Jean-Philippe makes his apologies in the dining room, back in the kitchen, Chef Ramsay is ready to call the guest of honor's entrees. OK, red team, stand by. Let's go. Two trout, two chicken, two steak, yes? Now yes, go to the dining room. Let's go. Yes. Table four first. Mr. and Mrs. La Casa. Two trout, two chicken, two steak away, yes? Yes, yes, chef. OK, excellent. Let's go. Two trout, three chicken, one steak. Yes, Ed, dining room. Take one steak and fuck off. Quickly, let's go. Yes, chef. As Nilka and Ed start their table-side service. How are you? I'm Nilka. I'm going to make the steak tie-in for you properly. Oh. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Who's having that steak tie-in? I'm having the steak. Excellent. The pressure is on to have entrees ready in the dining room. Nilka! Yes. Hurry up. Yes, chef. And the kitchen at the same time. I've got to serve the host first, yes? Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Come on. We're ready. Go off with the garnish. Yes, I'm bringing up the vegetables. 30 seconds behind, Holly. Here you go. Sauce. It's our host table. Let's go. That's hot. Two men get the steak. Oh. Here you go. Enjoy. Oh, yes. That's Wonderful. great. Thank you. This came out perfect. <laughs> with the guests of honor served, Three duck, two steak, one chicken. Let's go. The blue team comes together to get their first entrees out. You tell me what you want me to do if you want me to reheat something, or you want me to stir, OK? So I won't get in your way. Garnish is a hard station. And knowing that Salvatore was the weakest link, you know, you kind of want to look at what he's doing. Salvatore, three and a half minutes, you're going to do on these sides, right? You got it. It's a big night for me because it's do or die. So everything I need to do, I need to do perfect and not screw up anything. If you know, I'm missionary. I got that. I got that. You have to communicate with me. I so. told you that. Oh, I got yeah. your broccolini and your carrots right here. Salvatore, you need to talk to me. One minute and four minutes. I think Sal has mashed potatoes between his ears. I personally am starting to lose my patience with him. Can I start slicing? Salvatore, you got to talk to me, buddy. Can I start slicing my yeah, duck? Yeah, You're yeah. ready. I just want a fucking kitchen in sink. That's all. Chef, three duck. Where's the garnish for the duck? Garnish from the dark. Parsnip puree. Come on. Parsnip puree. Uh, Sal has to understand he's going to get cussed out. Trust. But his brain gets locked down and he just gets quiet. Come on, Salvatore. Yes, chef. Is that it for three? Uh, let's go the three ducks. Oh, come on. Fuck it, guys, will you? It's so embarrassing. I got confused. Like, I'm scared to do anything because Chef Ramsey won't yell at you. Talk to each other. Salvatore and Jason struggle to catch up on garnish. Meanwhile, in the red kitchen... My chicken's done. Holly is ready with her entrees. Walk it up the vegetables. She's going up the vegetables. Shit. Duck's overcooked. Holly! Yes, chef? Duck is overcooked. That's fucking medium to dry. And the fucking chicken is fucking raw. Get a grip, please, yes, chef. Holly! Yes, chef. You can't set up raw chicken no matter what. It's a very rookie mistake. It's stupid. It's our second table, Holly. Sorry, Chef. I got to refire my trout on that. Can you just give me a holler, please? Yes. Sorry, guys. While Holly is feeling the heat in the kitchen, yeah. out in the dining room, Oops. Nilka is playing it cool. There it goes. See, I know how to do this. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, see that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is the Dijon mustard I'm at it. From where? From Dijon. <laughs> Where's Dijon? I don't know what Dijon is, Jean. You don't know what Dijon is? No, I don't. Anybody? France. Thank France. you very much. They know. I love you, John Philippe, but damn it, you know how to work a woman's nerves. You just try to put me on the spot. Oh. Where's the cognac from? Why 
you put me on the spot, John Felipe? I was just asking. France. 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 I knew that. <laughs> It's almost two hours into dinner service, and more than half of the diners have received their entrees. It's very, very good. Oh, this duck is wonderful. Meanwhile, back in the red kitchen, Fran is just trying to keep up on the garnish station. It's not all over cooked in there, is it? No, I just dropped it, Chef. So why are you drain one bit and not the other bit at the same time? I need fucking another time. piece. So if you left that in there, it's going to overcook. So get it out, fucking out. It's a broccoli, you show a little bit of respect. I will, Chef. Ready? Now Benjamin's on the garnish. Fucking hell. Cut the bullshit. Yeah, let go, let go. Lazy. Oh, madam. Yes, sir. Me. You fucking drank the potatoes. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, next time, fuck off, yeah? OK? You're just ramming me here with a hot pan. And you just right. there you go, You're you right. bunch of fucking idiots. I'm sorry, Show sure. a little bit of respect, but not to give me a fucking hot I pan. I won't do it again, chef. All the fat doesn't spread all over the fucking stupid again. fucking place. I think Fran is definitely over her head. And, you know, you can't just disregard safety because you're busy. Engage your brain! Yes, Chef. What are we working on next? Yeah, I like that. What are we working on? One travel spaghetti, two steak. We're bound to fuck that one up. As Fran struggles to catch up on garnish in the red kitchen... Let's go. Over in the blue kitchen, Chef Ramsay has a question for Salvatore. Where's the garnish for the two chicken? Two chicken, Chef? Oh, come on. Two chicken, two steak, one duck, Just one Just one second, Chef. Oh, now it's on fire. I mean, this is just extraordinary. Come on, Salvatore! Hey, I was fucking bullshit, you full of. All the fucking meat's ready and I've got no garnish! I'm getting sick of them! Talk to me! Sorry, Chef. OK, he got it, he got it. Coming down, coming down. Oh, dear. All that time, Salvatore. I'm sorry, Chef. Yeah, all that time. Then there's no fucking garnish. You need to wake up. I'm not giving up, Chef. With Salvatore finally delivering, the blue team is sending out their last entrees, and the red team is rushing to finish theirs. Come on, come on, come on! Let's do it. Let's push it through. Two chicken and duck. I'm gonna slice my duck, guys. Yeah, slice it. Go, go. OK. Last table. Let's go. Glory. Go, 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 go. Two duck. That's good. Thank you. Service, please. Very good. Turn off the stove. Push out the desserts. Yes, yes sir. sir. We had all of our food go out and did not come back to us, which was a very, very successful evening for the red team. Two banana split, two cheesecake. Pull it up, pull it up. Four banana right now. I feel like we did pretty good. I do believe we finished our tickets first, but Salvatore sucked once again. Stay down, guys, yes? Yes, 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 yes. yes. Follow me, please. Let's go and toast the host, yes? On behalf of our brigade, ladies and gentlemen, please toast to Sal and Marcin. Excellent. Yeah. Love. Well you look amazing. Tony R is 20 years older. Congratulations. Okay, listen to me. Tonight was a night where everybody should have been at 110% on their game. Friend, at this stage, after seven services, I'm not here to tell you to drain potatoes. Salvatore, rate yourself on a performance out of ten. Four or five. You're three over. Very generous. Holly, overcooked duck, undercooked chicken. So I've based my decision on how difficult it was to get food out. So, losing team tonight. Red team. Go back to the dorms and as a team, decide two individuals up for elimination. Get out. I felt like we had a good service. And, you know, the girls all felt like it was the best service they've had. You know, it wasn't good enough, though. It sucks. Yep. Totally sucks. Holly had a problem with chicken. I had a potato. We had really not much to go on to choose who is the worst chef in the kitchen tonight. I would have to go with Holly and Ben. I think, Fran, I think you had a really hard time in that station. Yeah, um, it's the first time I've ever been on Garnish. Yep, but still, I think that you should be up for elimination. It just seems the way it goes. Just take Fran and put her up there. I seem to be the easy pawn. I'm going to have to say Siobhan and Fran. Sorry, but that's my choice, because that's my choice. Sorry. OK, Siobhan. 
I would say um, Holly and Fran. I had to pick Holly, but I mean, I still think he did a good job. I don't think I'm the worst cook there. I don't want to go down. I don't want to go home. Who did you already pick? Yeah, we picked. Fran yeah. and who? It's supposed to be Fran and her. Holly? So you're trying to say, so is Holly the worst cook on the team? No, Holly's not the worst cook on the team. Is it service or is it cooks? I know who, the two that I really want to go up there that should go to fuck home. But if it's a group decision, then it's a group decision. We should talk about it again. Let's go upstairs, come on. We should talk about it. I liked working with Holly. I think she did a really good job. And put her up for a nomination, it's like, you know, maybe not the best decision. Siobhan, as far as cooking goes, you seem so nervous in the kitchen. You seem so unsure of yourself because you don't have te the technical skills and you don't have the passion. And you know, you may think you do, but I, I don't see it. You really fucking think that and you've only been with us for a day or two? Fuck off, that is fucking bullshit. I didn't have a bad service tonight. I know, but I think Holly is definitely a better cook. We don't want to disappoint Chef Ramsey because then he will put his whole foot in your ass and that's not fun. But we have to agree on it. Letting it change in my book. Polly. First nominee and why, please? Fran, Chef. Fran. Yes. Things came out a little slow. Slow. You're absolutely right. Second nominee. Is it? Siobhan. Siobhan. Yes, Chef. Why? She didn't have a terrible service or anything, but we were talking about who would be the worst cooks in the kitchen. So she didn't have a terrible service, but you wanted to nominate her. Siobhan lacks technical experience or passion for food. And I feel that she second guesses herself because she has neither. <laughs> so, Fran and Siobhan, step forward, let's go. Siobhan, truthfully, why do you think you should stay in House Kitchen? Chef, I am young and I'm ambitious and I have so much passion and so much heart that I wouldn't be here today if I didn't push myself as hard as I do. You're over your head, aren't you? No, Chef. The more that I get a challenge, the more I push myself and I feel like I take risks in my culinary skills and you know what, sometimes they're good and sometimes they're bad, but I'm very proud of myself that I took a risk, otherwise I would never know what would happen. Is she in over her head, yes or no? Yes, she is. Fran, quickly, why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? I get stronger every single time you yell at me. I never make my mistake twice. I am tough, and I am determined to show you that I can do it. Unfortunately, you've peaked, but no one's told you that. You've been here so often. It's almost like you've got your footprints in the carpet. Yet again, a tough one. My decision is... Get back in line. Siobhan. Yes, Chef. Take yourself back to the red team. Thank you, Chef. Yes, you did lose tonight. But there is one chef that had the worst service. Salvatore, come here. Yes, Chef. Out of seven services, you've had one good one. Your time has run out. Yes, sir. Thank you. Good night. You mess up, you pay the consequence, so... Yeah, I'm mad that I left, but at the same time, you know, I mess it up two, three times in the road, so I deserve to go home. And it was the right decision. Grazie a tutti. Ciao. Get out, good night! I'm really pissed off at my team for calling me out. You wait till the next challenge, I'll fucking show you. Salvatore was a cool guy. And now we only got four on our team. So you got to step up to the plate or get the fuck on. Even with the person down in the blue team, I still feel like they're a stronger team. Right now, I'm just so sick of Siobhan and Fran. The garbage can over here is probably a better cook than the two of those. Salvatore had a big heart. Too bad he couldn't cook with it. Next time on Hell's
kitchen. Benjamin continues to gun for Siobhan. You have to stop talking, just work. But this time, I would not serve that sandwich out of my kitchen. That's your personal that's, opinion. It's not my personal opinion. It's my professional opinion. That's fine. You need to stop being a fucking bossy bastard. He may have pushed her too far. I'm tired of being underestimated. I'm tired of it. I'm pissed off. And the once reserved Ed is out of control. Hey, we're dancing. In a wild party in the dorm. You make it. Ah! This pump come and get you. How you like me now? The likes of which have never been seen before in Hell's Kitchen. No more drinks for autumn. At dinner service, everyone feels the pain. Already we're acting like a bunch of idiots. Come together! Can this group of chefs pull it together? Roll, roll, roll! Put a little bit of effort into your work. Or will this be one of the worst dinner services ever? Up and down, up and down, up and fucking down! Get out! One thing is for sure, this is an episode. Get out! Leave me alone! You don't want to miss. It's not good enough, guys! Useless bits of crap.